never need a nigga that's a teacher to believe in me. You was there and you seen it, nigga. Great God said beast in me. Niggas said they was getting money, but they broke. I don't believe niggas. Get it, get it, just to get it, get it. Once you get it, nigga, get smoke. Green, the green, no piss lock. Fuck you, boy, I've been about it. Remember when I ain't had to. Couldn't eat, now they hating on me. Look at me now. Look at my style. Shit, back there, but you can't write now. The rule of the season, fuck you for sleeping. Back with the back line, time for a beer. Hit the ground running, I should let her freeze up. Wait, 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 Thanks. 
Anything a lesser than a dime I stop by your side Tire like a nine I really feel it in my mind I'm in my mind Speed love will be mine Speed love will be mine Hold up, let me roll up, hold up I'm not bad for you So tell me I'm not bad for you So tell me I'm not bad for you So tell me I'm not bad for you Be by your side when I blow up, blow up We got together to make it back for up like We blow up like You know what you can try to get this money back You know what's up like 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 You know what's
This nigga don't never pick up his phone. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Chico Dusty. I done hit this nigga three times in a row. Three times in a row. Hold the green. Get to meet me at the door after I take your money. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right, y'all. So let's hand it over to my co-host, guest co-host tonight. Yep. It's your boy FB Blend that with the Yinet. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So now we're gonna hand it over to please introduce yourself. I'm a drum roll because y'all need a louder applause and everything. Introduce yourself. All right now. <laughs> we are Lottie Plus. As y'all may know, I'm King Lottie. I'm Big Lottie Zo. I'm Lottie Banks. Yes. First, my question is the name Lottie. Where did it come from? How did it originate? Like, it's, what does it mean? I see it's a movement because it's, it's definitely massive movement. of you. It's massive it's people up in here right now. So. <laughs> well, well, Lottie came from, it started from from house parties, right? Okay. It was a thing that we was yelling and it was catchy. Everybody was fucking with it. Okay. And we kind of ran with it, wanted something like that. In that aspect, I'd say, everybody know that shot o'clock back on Rainy Street backyard shit. If you know, you know, but he was there yelling while he with us and it, it okay. stuck with the people, so we kept it. We got that bad, that's what's up. Don't you just like when something just sticks and you might as well just be like, Hey, let's make it ours, you know? Right. Make it into a movement like y'all doing now. Yeah. Exactly. I <laughs> Brand. So, I wasn't able to uh, mention the event that y'all have going on tonight. So, let's get right into that. Well, I'm going to let Big Lottie Zoe let y'all know what's going on. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, as you may know, Mr. Farrell Bacon over here is hosting. Hey. Uh -huh. Come, come through and show out. We got the 2000s versus 2010 party. You got served edition. Mm -hmm. Meet us at Top Show. We're going to be at 240 Chestnut Street. If you don't know, now you know. You better pull up early. Yeah. It's going to be packed. So y'all expecting a pack show, a yeah, pack event? Yeah, we in capacity tonight. I know that's a yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about this all night. Second and drive, everybody right. started going crazy. You know, they just want to dress like they used to with their mm -hmm. clothes. So mm -hmm. what... <laughs> What actually made this event come about? Like, what, out of all the events you have to create, you have created a dance event. Um, you got served event. So, well, we actually have a team of very creative okay. individuals. You know, okay. put our heads together. We come up with diamonds each time. You know? Hey, y'all hear that? It's crazy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. So, introduce yourselves. Okay, I'm Lottie Banks. I'll be at the door. I take your money, but you know, I'm you got money. <laughs> <laughs> Big yeah. Bank, okay. I also um I'll be at the door at brunch at Pilates. Mm -hmm. That's usually where I love brunch. Any ladies who do brunch is all about it, looking yes. sexy, work hard. So brunch is where I be at. So yeah. I want to shout out you, Miss Banks, Lottie Banks. You definitely um hook my brunch up mm -hmm. and um. Yeah, it was definitely a vibe. Uh, yeah, I can't wait until the next one. Speaking yeah, of brunch, <laughs> we're going to have an all white lunch brunch this Sunday. Ooh, wow. At Pilates. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Um, it's right. all right. <laughs> <laughs> 1168, Boston, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. I'm right. Yeah. Boston, I'm right. <laughs> Hello, 12 to 5. Mm -hmm. We got DJ Cheeky. And DJ Mooka coming from CT, yo. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. They're going to be in the building. <laughs> That's what's up. So make sure y'all check that out. Uh, their brunches are always good. And the food is amazing. You know, you can look at me and I, I love to eat. So therefore, I ain't going to send y'all to no place that they don't have no good food. They have some good ass food. Okay, and drinks. Yes. $25. Mimosas, 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 well, it's a group effort. Okay. Um, we have like brainstorm. Well, I don't like the fish tank. Mm -hmm. I would say everybody put in, everybody vote. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like all equal. Um, whoever gets the most votes wins. Okay. And some people get to be able to tell you, like I told you so. You know what I mean? Right. One of those kind of things. Scragging rights. Right. So I give you. <laughs> okay. You know I mean, the more, the more bangers you um, 
you get voted on, the stronger you pull. You know, it's right. just like that. It's, it's a, it's a, I ain't gonna say a dog eat dog, but mm-hmm. everybody wants to see their vision come alive. So, you know what I mean? It's one thing I have an idea, but putting the work and the planning right. behind it is a whole nother right. thing. So that's what um, we all strive to do independently and come together as a group. That's why I say we're event planners, not event. I know that. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Planning and implementing. Yeah. There's a lot that's going on. Stressful. Uh, yeah. 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 We built it from the ground up. And then Make it look easy. Yeah. How long? Yeah. 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 Y'all built it from the ground up, but how long have y'all? I know y'all been around forever, but for those who don't really know the whole lot of like, you, from like when you start or like when you start? From the start. Like, from club, you know, from. The serving first decided to make this into a, a company, I guess. You know? Oh, so when we like first got the LLC, mm-hmm. so we've been LLC for about like three years now. Okay, um, the movement been going on for about five. Okay, you know, I ain't I don't know really the start. I've been going for right, right, right. 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I've been talking about the law, the law, the law, the law, the the name was made five years ago, so you know, what I mean, that's what I thought you in right. that aspect, but. We definitely been partying forever. That's what I'm kind of known for. Okay. Just great times. And have y'all mm-hmm. great times. Great times. Great times. <laughs> great times. Great times. And have y'all definitely <laughs> saying positive <laughs> for the community as well. Like, yeah. Are y'all work? Are y'all trying to do events also for not just parties but like uh, community events? Yeah. Well, we do um, community events. Yeah. Um, I love. Body yeah. Paints. Mm-hmm. yeah, I do a Juneteenth last year. Nice. Yeah. Juneteenth. Um, mm-hmm. We have a kids' field day as well. Oh, okay. We do a backpack for the kids. Right. Um, toy. We did a toy drive. Um, like we in the kickball. Kickball. Oh, yeah. Y'all not. Y'all not just. just uh, we just say we did it. Right. Right. That's the riff rap in it, but. Okay. Y'all not just um so on parties like I feel when something positive out here chilling. Yeah, that's, that's, that's freaking amazing. Like people. Yeah, I love that. Well put a dollar bill. Dollar, right, right, right. Dollar people, dollar people, dollar right. Dollar right. Dollar right. Dollar. So we even give free promotion. We promote other days that's not a Thursday, of course, you know, right. we do show love all around. And to businesses as well. Nice. Yes. Speaking of that, you know, if you want to get your business promoted, mm-hmm. two weeks, sixty dollars. Well, we got a deal going on. Mm-hmm. Even if you want to be put on the um on the freak meet, we are taking sponsors as well. Yes, so you we know. Are. That's what we're I mean, I'm from Atlanta. I know about the freak you know, you know what I'm saying? I all want to talk about freak me. I got tickets on me right now. You need it? Right. Come yeah. on, Doc. I'm old enough where I actually went down there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, okay. man. Freak me. Look, look, look. 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 Look, Posted that and what can people expect from this? Details. I want the tea. I want. I want the full tea right now. Good. The ballroom. You might know it as the West Indian Club. Okay. Um, There's a lot to expect. I can give you as. Is there gonna be contests? Um, Dance hall queens. Twerk girls. I'm gonna call them the freak meat girls. I mean, okay. it's a different, okay. different vibe. We got the mechanical pool. Mm-hmm. Um, there'll be some vendors in the building. Food, um, Spanish food, Jamaican food, soul food. Yeah, if you want to take your pictures, they got food. Yeah, yeah we, we got we got we got a lot going on for you. We even got a special guest coming for y'all. We can't tell you who it is yet because the pre-sale tickets is still on deck. But as soon as you know. The prices went up. I'm just letting y'all know now. So Get them for thirty while you can before the price goes up. Or we'll catch that too for fifty. Media coverage, you know. Get some free tickets and they got a K tickets. <laughs> two for fifty. Right, so we're giving out those. <laughs> <laughs> I want it all. I need it all. Oh, I got you. If you need some tickets, she's giving back. She's giving back. Fifty dollars. That's how I do for the community. Right, right, right. Right. That's right. <laughs> you know, um, besides, you know, hosting events and being out here, you know, in the community doing our thing, we gotta have some hidden talents. Like, Anyway, I am a job. Yeah, well, <laughs> oh, 
I dropped two songs, Free Throw with um, Trapper Cam okay. and um, Jay Malone. Mm -hmm. I'm also featured on one of his tracks called Back It Up. If you haven't heard, I, I just gave my music to um, Sizzle Pop, so. Well, you know no I mean? free throw. Okay, so no free throw. We'll be here. Oh, that's your we about to get into that. That's your heart. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm a cold killer, sipping top shelf, looking certified bag, got the club chase spinning, huh? That nigga flipping four figures, big tip I'm showing, I ain't see you put a killer like gold figure. I ain't playing with her, booty so big, it came with a babysitter, got that one hit quitter, don't be lazy with her, she the vibe type, run to rock, run and tell her ass to back it up, 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 back it up
this right here, this gut, mm-hmm. and make me look like 50 Cent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you work out with me, if you, okay. you know, eat Surprise, right, right. And help Surprise. me help you, yeah. then yes, I can get you there. Okay. Okay. That's keep that in mind. Right. You get yeah. that choice in the other time. I do. Well, he okay. So now. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's right. Right. We definitely need that in the Yes, we do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, Miss Lottie Banks, how's it going? Come on, let's go on. Out. So, let's get a hit of talent. She's a singer. I had to spill it. I was oh, hoping to so I was hoping to so 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 She's a singer. I was, I was waiting for this. We got the phone in me. So, we got the phone in me. We got the phone in me. DJ, drop my song. DJ, spin that shit. They want me to play. Um, am I hitting talent? I need to get back on it. Um, a comedian. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Come on now. Like him, um, comedian, like slash poetry. I'm still trying to figure it out, but yeah. So Maybe some comedy, some poetry to them. So you do poetry. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Yeah. So I'm about to put you on the spot. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a poem in your mind right now, or your phone that you wanna? Share with us. Um, damn, not prepared. It's my phone died, okay. fortunately. But um, no. Uh, but you're also a singer. Mm, so we're about to put you in. I was bullshitting. Those are jokes. <laughs> yeah, he was, you know, my alley oop right there. Those are the comedians. Who are alley oop? I got excited. I was going to like, do something out of Pella for us. I wish you would have just went with it, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, he thought it was good. I was like, what's your name? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm before I let y'all go, do y'all want to give any shout outs? Do y'all want to talk about your next upcoming events? Now you know we do. Yes, yes I know y'all do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to start and I'm going to uh, we can go down the line. I'm going to let y'all know we got a, um, a Lottie mixtape coming out. You know what I'm saying? So we bringing um, artists together, um, especially ones who haven't collabed mm-hmm. on songs. Mm-hmm. So that'll be looking for for the summer, mm-hmm. having that drop for the summer. So um, stay tuned for that. But that's my. Upcoming event for the people. I will let um, one of y'all go. Yes, Freak Week. Cancer Battle, July 2nd. Me, Lottie Banks, Big Lottie Zo, hey. my girl, um, Lottie Bay, Cancer Season. we throwing the biggest Freak Week y'all ever seen in New England. Like, I am so yeah, excited. So freak I'm so excited. Yeah. I haven't seen. I'm in like 80 group chats right now about this one event. So I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. We're bringing together, just like you said in the beginning, like we're a team and we have an idea and it's coming together beautifully. Like y'all really don't miss out on this. Right. Yeah. If y'all know the less what you put into this listen. party just so y'all can have some fun, mm-hmm. just to bring this type of this type of event to the Northeast. Mm-hmm. When do we get to have a free week like right. this? It's too cold. <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be crazy you. when y'all find out who we bring out here y'all gonna be mad y'all didn't get them early bird tickets okay mm-hmm. like you said july no june 1st june 1st it goes up come get your tickets now uh, yeah. come get them definitely uh actually what do you got i mean uh, that's a lot of i mean like i said tonight we're gonna be at top show 2000 versus 2010 party on Sunday, we're at Pilates. Listen, it's the all white Lux you brunch. Make, Come make in your all ready. white looking pressed and ready to get dressed and step out and get these mimosas, you know? Mm-hmm. And then, of course, we have on June 16th, Gutta K is pulling up. If y'all know, he's on Bad Boys Club. You know, he lit. So pull up. Pull up. We got tickets for sale. And Freak Link is July 2nd. We got lots of tickets. Come yeah. on. Come get these two for 50. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Two for 50. That's we, not listen, bad. summer is here. Yeah. I've been telling y'all summer is coming. Summer is here. Yeah. We got nothing but events for y'all. So tap in. That's so what's up. Slotty Plus. Follow us on each and every platform. 2Ds, 2Ys, L-A-W-D-D-Y-Y Plus on IG, Facebook, Snapchat. And on TikTok, TikTok, and two zeros up. All right, even a TikTok for y'all. 
Well, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming out. It was a vibe. Yes, um, let's go take pictures okay. and um, chit chat. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Like a pelican, ass back like an elephant. Yeah, you know I'm never hesitant. Big 
nobody say. Got a problem, nobody say. Don't sleep, a lot of y'all dozing. Let it go, a lot of y'all frozen. I can set the tone to this beer. See a nipple like a clone in this beer. You nothing but a dog throw a bone to this beer. Then never make it home to this beer. Don't mind if I really up and down. I don't speak that to facts and then come. It's just a beef of me, it's an income. Do what you do, you do, and then some. Don't mind if I really up and down. I don't speak that to facts and then come. It's just a beef of me, it's an income. Do what you do, you do, and then some. Don't dislike me, get like me. A lot of y'all are doing it, nigga, I know I can dig. You're depending on rather than imagination. It don't add up, take you up the equation. Priority shipping, eating me a private, smiling to the public. I enjoy knowing I'm a using to your stomach. I made a nobody safe. Got a problem, nobody say. Don't sleep, a lot of y'all dozing. Let it go, a lot of y'all frozen. A lot of y'all can't back that get up. You don't wanna see me out, need to back that get up. I don't call a track, just a back that get up. And this beat go hard, make you back back that up. Don't mind if I really up and down. I don't speak back to facts of them. Yeah, 
I'm hosting that. Y'all see me in the building. If y'all want them tickets, it's your second chance right now. If you're paying attention right now, screenshot this right now. And boom, you know what? That's two more tickets for you. <laughs> I just screenshot it in the Not you, Negro. <laughs> 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 but y'all already know who y'all back here with. Mr. Barrel making uh, himself Mr. Pop with the grease. Uh huh. But anyway, we, I'm gonna let the whole thing take that over. <laughs> hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy, the one and only boss is boss. You know, Springfield Pride President. Uh, why they call me the boss is boss? I'm the Springfield Pride President. I am a entrepreneur co-owner of Page Label, um, have a book out, coming out with my second book, and we're going to get ready to talk some poetry with my boy, Mr. Eric 
Saint Louis! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I'm gonna say I've never had an introduction like that, but I appreciate it. Man. It's good to it's good to be here. Thank y'all for having me. I love them, love them. So, Barker Black, I got carried away for the business <laughs> Yeah, listen. <laughs> That's a jump right over you. Like, oh yeah, you're here. <laughs> I'm, I'm just the extra. That's it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I ain't nobody important. You, you are somebody important. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's your boy LB Blitnack with the Yitnack, and we at Digital Boombox Network. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So, Aaron, what's up, sir? What do you like to be called, Aaron St. Louis, or do you got to say maybe go by? Uh, Aaron St. Louis or Angel St. Either or. Okay. I'm cool with both. Okay. So, tell us about yourself. Tell the viewers about who um, Aaron St. Louis is, because I kind of missed the second name you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Um, if y'all didn't hear Ali's wonderful introduction, my name is Aaron St. Louis, aka A. Joe Saints, A J O E S A I N T. My full name is Aaron Joseph St. Louis, so it kind of just goes real smoothly. Um, I am a poet, spoken word artist, um, whatever you want to call it. I communicate via language, ideas, thoughts, feelings, emotions, all that stuff I like to cover. Um, to one, figure out stuff for myself, just because like sometimes you gotta, you gotta really put down pen to paper to kind of like just think through your own feelings and emotions, as well as try to do it for other people as so, I do it on stage. So your poetry therapy for you? I, I would say so, definitely. I think it's like maybe even exceeds um, therapy. Like uh, the latest series I have is um, it's called um, We Should Have Been Poets. It's pretty much um, a series on men and our emotions, money, sex, um, our relationships with our parents, our relationships with ourselves, all of that. And because I was kind of struggling with some of that stuff, I had to write it down and think it through in order to kind of like get over that and to better myself. And I figure if I'm going to do it for myself, I feel like it will benefit other people, other men as well. So that's, that's kind of how I think through things. Yeah. What's that? So you have a book out, right? I do not have a book out. You do not. I do not have a book You out. just write the poetry. Okay. I, I just write the poetry. I'll have a book eventually. I want to um, say, so when's the book coming out now? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I'll be honest, like the book stuff intimidates me because like, it's not only just writing, you got to be right. publishing yes. and you got to, I don't mind being in the streets and talking to people and handing out and selling books. That's easy. But like mm -hmm. the, the whole rigmarole behind it, especially because like at the art, as an artist, the, the business side you tend to shy away from. Right, right. Like I'd rather be in my room or with the homies just writing out stuff, mm -hmm. um, laying out tracks, things of that nature. Um, I'm not I'm not trying to worry about publishing and stuff like that. But it's a, it's a necessary evil. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm gonna have to face that evil eventually. Yes. I plan to do that. Yes. So do you plan on taking on that evil by yourself or do you plan on hiring a manager? Uh <laughs> ask some of my ask some of my homies and they say they're my manager. But they do a terrible job. <laughs> nah, those, those are my boys. Those are my folks, my loved ones. I appreciate them. The thing is, like, everybody around me is an entrepreneur working yeah, multiple right. jobs as well. So it's difficult. But yeah, um, I do not plan to do that by myself. That's kind of one of the things that I refuse to do. I think everybody has like this desire to be self-made and be the only one at the top. I have no desire to be that. <laughs> like I want to bring my homies with me and I'm not afraid to ask for some help. So when the time comes, yeah, I'm definitely um, going to be asking for some help. That's what's up. Because you know, Page, we 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 manage poets ourselves. Oh, you got a page of label? Page of label. I'm proud of that. You did. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear about him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, somewhere, some digital, some digital stereo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, analog stereo. <laughs> you know, and I think most of us heard of, well, yeah, most of us uh, heard of your poetry. All of us. <laughs> And was impressed by it. So I yeah. appreciate that. Appreciate y'all yeah. listening. Your poetry is deep. To me, it gets to the root of what's going on in the world. Mm. Some people write about love. You write about the real shit in the world. Trust me. Yeah. So um, we are gonna get into some of your poetry as well. But how many years have you been writing poems for? Um. If we 
can count like the years of high school when they used mm-hmm. to give you like poetry assignments, things like that. I would say maybe since I was like 14, maybe. Yeah, um, is that when you fell in love with poetry? Or? Around that time, I'm, I'm not that old, but right. the years start blurring together. It's <laughs> <laughs> somewhere between 14 and 16. Right, right. <laughs> where, um, where the love of it um, kind of like, kind of just took over me. It was, it was from hip hop, mm-hmm. just because like hip hop is poetry and the way the way the rappers can convey certain things and paint pictures and rhyme words in ways that you didn't think words couldn't even rhyme. Mm-hmm. I, I fell in love with that, so I, I started emulating that. So a lot of times people say my poetry sounds like rap. Mm-hmm. Um, it's easier for me to go from poetry to rap if somebody asks me to be on the track or things of that nature. It's kind of all encompassing. But yeah, I would say around 14 to 16 is when I fell in love with it and uh, kept on going from there. So, okay. So. What are some recent events you did and what are some upcoming events you had? Gotcha. So I had the honor of um, doing a poetry. I was um, a feature at an open mic at Dewey's. Mm-hmm. I think it was uh, I think it was February. Which it was, um, I'm going to tell you right now, it was February. Yes, I remember passing that flyer and I shared it. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. I remember that was my birthday month as well. Yeah. And I thought it was the perfect way to end my birthday month. Um, just kicking some poetry, mm-hmm. of various um, other events, open mics. Um, for April, I had this, um, what's it called? I, I gave myself a challenge where I put out um, a 30 second poem yes. every single day for the month of April, because April is poetry month. Mm-hmm. Um, that was fun, it made me real sharp. So right now, I, right, writing is real easy mm-hmm. for me right now. Uh, in the future, I also do writing workshops. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Wellness for the Culture, Whitney Dodds. Um, mm-hmm. She yes. asked me to do a workshop last year sometime, and she's gearing up to do more kind of mental health related um, stuff for the month of July. And um, finalizing when my workshop is for that. Got a poetry slam coming up. Um, I, I want to write another series. I think this one will be a love series. And yeah, I'm always doing something. Something's always popping up. Um, trying to stay busy and stay great. Well, I gotta ask questions like this. So you say you want to write another series. So, are you producing like movies or shows, or is it just is it just like more poetry? Uh, poetry for right now. Um, mm-hmm. for my main series, I do want to have a video for each one, just so it's kind of um easily consumable, mm-hmm. as well as I should. I need to get my face more out there. <laughs> it's just it's just mm-hmm. a part part of being an artist. Right. But when it comes to a series. It's usually just kind of um, one central topic, and it's kind of like layered over multiple pieces. Mm-hmm. For the poetry, for the love series, I think it's going to be like three or four poems. We'll see when I start it. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, I'm just kind of getting ideas as as life comes about, because life is kind of where all my poetry content comes from. So I, I'm not I'm not trying to force out content. If I feel it, I'm gonna write it down. That's what's up. That's what's up. So I got ask. What's good? So. I know you said, I know uh, uh, April, that's poetry, when you did your series. Mm -hmm. Those poems that were in your series, Mm -hmm. were those poems that were already written, or did you actually... No, I wrote a poem every single day. Every single day. Yeah. So you challenged yourself. Yeah. That's what's up. (laughs) I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. um, A lot lot of my stuff, I kind of just, yeah, do, do right there and then. Uh, the, the style's a little different. Those, those stuff, because it was 30 seconds, mm-hmm. it was kind of a challenge within itself. Because if you heard my poems, my poems could range. My poems could be from three minutes to mm-hmm. six minutes. To get something, to get an idea out in 30 seconds, that was kind of the challenge for me. Um, when it comes to my, my longer stuff, I really like to take my time. Like I could right. write, I could write a poem for two months just because I'm tweaking lines here and there the right. entire time. Just because I can get mad, nitpicky, and mm-hmm. like, perfectionist with it. But we are our own worst critics when it comes to our work. That's a fact. Like, yeah, but you gotta be that way. Exactly. You wanna perfect it. You wanna make sure you put out um, the quality you over one. You know so, yeah, Exactly, yeah. especially because like, a lot, of, a lot of times our talents are twofold. There's actually um, doing it and there's performing yes. it. Those are two different talents. Like, for the spoken word, I can write down stuff, but if I don't deliver it properly, if I don't pace myself properly, if I don't emphasize certain words properly, it's not gonna hit the way it yes. should hit. So like style style of delivery is also very important, and that's why people I don't know if anybody noticed, but I don't recite poems that I haven't memorized. Right. I, I never read from my phone. I never read from a book or anything mm-hmm. like that. It's I need to memorize it so I can 
focus yeah. on mm-hmm. focus mm-hmm. on just kind of like acting it out for people and right. the memorization kind of takes care of itself or it just flows. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's get into one of your poems. Uh, I got you. Which poem is this and why did you write this? Um, this one is called Masculine. It's mm-hmm. spelled with a K, so it's mask mm-hmm. as well. And it's part, it's part of the man series. And pretty much it brings an emphasis on how we hide behind, how we label stuff as masculine and hide behind it, trying to compensate for what we're lacking. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep the poem, but it speaks, right. for, it speaks for itself. Okay. <laughs> Peep this, I was told money and sex makes man strong and she'll answer my every wish when I ball out like Shenron. And she's always intrigued by my royal spill. A princess sings, if you will, but my I mention still. She only loves me when my wallet's open. Pocket swollen, feels like sipping, been led wrong. But that's the only time I love myself too. So I've been buying self worth all along. Who knew? And good God, that's a lot to digest. So I vomit false diamonds, hoping to shine, mask my malnourishedness. And what I'm learning is none of this undoes my worthlessness. Because when I sit back home, trophy room full to the brim in my zone. Dope, dope means flooding my brain. Congrats for my phone. W's cover my resume. The king is still alone. So. I roam and seize the day until haters brutus me to be destroyed and destructive is my destiny and my identity ain't based on feminine energy, bruh. But I heard that was the remedy, so I keep femme fatales next to me. They ruin me, duh. So I compensate with hyper-masculinity, claim divinity, then drown in my own stupidity. How God laughs at you when you caught putting on his clothes. My acting deserved a golden globe. Broke a leg, so I'm standing on a brittle soul. Crumble to under the performance, but I can still carry a whole cast. This heavy lifting, so spot me as I rack to impress an empress of a higher class. I'm just seducing my own ego. I don't trust for other people. Can't make a fire with who I lie with. So much show, I don't even pillow talk after I'm done. Cause I heard a hotel. That's why I don't share a ton. Paranoid and belligerent. I can't even justify my wants. I'm hungry, starving. This kingdom will crumble. This negligence is self harming, but it's all I have to flaunt. And that fact is quite alarming for people. All how the shine continues to taunt. All for the love of regal. The crown ain't worth it if it turns you evil. It's deceitful and our royalty ain't created equal. So some of y'all decrees seem odd to me. Everyone claims king, but it only denotes class, not quality. So my Solomon Tut, Henry the Eighth, Ganon, T.I. T'Challa, Alexander the Great, Mufasa, Baratheon, Big Crit, Xerxes, and wherever Laos in the room. Your kingdom and your earthly insecurities and surprise everything you touch turns to doom. Midas curses said you can't even cherish your gold. It just weighs down, makes worse, takes worth, and grows mold. And I was just doing what I was told. So my prison who was dug out the lost and found in it. Don't even fit me so extra uneasy lies that head that wears the crown. The stone made my own. I'm killing myself, rushing the roulette now. This world don't revolve around me. Pretend lofty, turn faulty. Need to get this mask off me, but I feel like it'll cost me some pride, some self-sufficiency, some facades, but I got an epiphany. No man is an island, even when he can afford one. Keep my loved ones close to so my future's covered in fortune. Take the mask off your masculine. Your mama delivered you with more than enough. Putting yourself in a box. You're more fragile trying to keep this side up. Good luck. All right. Thank okay. you. Yes. Poetry this now. Yeah, y'all good to clap afterwards, just don't clap in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fire, that was heartfelt. That appreciate was, you, appreciate yeah. you. Um how long how long ago did you write the poem? Um Biden wrote this poem in either 2019 or 2020, I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Um, just because, like, this is the second piece in my series. Mm-hmm. I didn't write the series in order, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure when I, because I was writing the series at the same exact time. I'm not sure when mm-hmm. I wrote that specific piece, but 2019, 2020 is probably around the time I started and finished it. Nice. That's what's up. Okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. How that. do you even memorize your poetry? <laughs> like, it's the worst part. <laughs> I hate my Tell me about it. Um, <laughs> I record myself doing it and I listen to it over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I have to break it up where I record the first minute, listen to that a thousand times, mm-hmm. recite it everywhere, in the car, in the shower, when I'm in a meeting, like always, right, like right, right. even in certain places, like you might see me space out because I'm, I'm I'm either writing poetry mm-hmm. in my head or I'm thinking about trying to memorize the one I just wrote. Right. Um, so yeah, it's, piece by piece, it's, you got to be intentional about it because mm-hmm. it's not going to just be memorized by itself. So yeah, it's... It's, it's the thing I, I dislike the most about poetry, but once I got it memorized, I'm like, yeah, I can't I can't wait till I release this one. And that's the thing, though. Like, you know, you can write it perfect, and people expect us to go. 
memorize it, but it's like you really can't because you got to really read. And if you don't have enough time in a day to do it, but I like your method. Your method is definitely fire. It's working for you. <laughs> working for you. Uh, but yeah. So, FB, got any questions? No, okay. I got so, a question. What's good? What are you currently reading? What am I currently reading? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't read that much. I get information from talking to people. Okay. I think that's why my poetry resonates with people a lot because mm-hmm. uh, honestly, like I'm pulling from people and their thoughts and feelings and things of that nature. Of course, like uh, the regular day to day stuff, like um, I, read, I read my Bible, I listen to podcasts, I listen to any and everything on YouTube. Sometimes it's dumb stuff, sometimes it's stuff that's not important, but <laughs> I, get, I get information like always. Even if it's nothing deep, I can get references. Like if I'm watching a cooking video, I can reference that. If I'm watching something dumb, like some nigga talking about Pokemon, I can reference that. <laughs> like, I can reference whatever I want. I think that's why my poem, my poems a lot of times have like random pieces of stuff thrown in. I think that makes it kind of, yeah, I think that makes it kind of dynamic and uh, bombastic and makes it uh, good to listen to. Right. Yeah. So, do you do art also? Like, I wish. I wish I could paint. I wish I could draw. Can't do none of that. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so, what are some of your other hidden talents? <sighs> no. Uh, whenever anybody asks me, like, if I'm a poet or a spoken word artist, I always tell them that I'm a communicator. So mm-hmm. I feel like one of my talents is also talking to people as well. Mm-hmm. Um, either in groups or one-on-one conversations, I feel like I can pull things out of people that they didn't know existed in them, good and bad. Um, so I would say that's, like, one of my talents. So motivational speaker? Ish. <laughs> I, think I, do, I think I do better on the, the one-to-one as well as, like, I don't, I don't like cliches and I... I don't want to leave people with stuff they already knew. I feel like most of these speakers do that sometimes. I want to kind of um, more personal person um, talk through things with people just because like life is going so fast, people don't got a chance to think about themselves too often. Right, right. Okay. So, I'm ready to hear another one. Oh, you're a poet as well. Can you, can you give us something? I was gonna put him on the spot anyway. <laughs> you know, I'm well glad there. you did it. <laughs> well then. I'm like you. Oh, okay, here we go. Well, I do have something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm ready. <laughs> What you are, I'm putting out is what I'm giving back now. What you are, I'm putting out is what I'm giving back now. The fact that I keep on reaching out to you, no response, starting to annoy me. Teach me a lesson. I won't let you bother me. Sound the boss, the boss, the boss with the most. Keep my enemies close, so we're the ones who keep it real with me. Act like you don't have time. That's fine with me. I'm still smiling. No hard feelings. I'm still smiling. We'll keep it moving. Don't think for a second that I will allow. You would drive me crazy, put me in the frenzy. All right, we're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, actually, it was easier for me to memorize this poem. This is the only one that I actually have recorded right now. Um, it was easy for me to memorize that than it was to actually memorize the way I wrote it down. Because I say, like I said, we have the vocals. Yeah. But sometimes you get sidetracked when you are saying because you're going faster than what it really is. But without the vocals, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, if if your writing style allows mm-hmm. you to put it back into music where it's melodic, mm-hmm. yeah, definitely do that. It'll, it'll turn into like how you memorize songs. Yeah. Like, you don't purposely try to memorize songs. No. Just, like, <laughs> it just happens if you listen to it enough. So yeah, um, definitely do that. And that's why I actually kind of, you know, created that lane of, you know, let me do my poetry to music because it's going to help me perfect it. So one day I can just be out there and be like, I don't even need the music. Like, let me just, this for you. you know, let me just do my spoken word for you. I wrote that. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, but again, it's not about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put it back on him. <laughs> Uh, yes, but, uh, yeah, that's a poem. Gosh, yeah, um, I could do a really personal one, or I could do a loved one. Which one, which one y'all think I should do? a loved one. I, I got you. 
love is much more than lust, attraction, and attachment. Much more than testosterone, estrogen, dopamine, serotonin, enough peripherin, oxytocin, a vasopressin, much more than a chemical reaction, but the air around you change, that O2 turns to, oh, wow, when we spoke in passing. You were casually dazzling in my goofy chest, your grin probably hinted at my intention. Queen of hearts is always on my sleeve, then you're seeing lenses, but you were so low-key and demeanor conversing, I could see a flutter with brilliance, comprised of tested faith and logic. Feeding me details that I can ponder, I'm Capadonna, I dug you like the pockets and only found fountains with nothing toxic, just cool pools of feminine finest. Your finesse was like art and science combining, whimsical yet precise. You a dancer, right? I think I've seen you about two times, like singing my life what is worse, but there's nothing soft about this and never based on what I heard. I prefer to find out for myself, and I feel like I ever find wine from the top shelf. Every encounter was a sip, I'm punch drunk, I mean, we squeeze it. Now I feel away when you miss it. You mind if I fix it? Because this is so different. I want to love you with intention, but this is so different. So I've been estimated guessing. I learned my repetition, so I'm Bart Simpson at detention, writing constant reminders right on my soul. So my bad if I say I love you too often or too early. I'm just an awkward black earthling trying to plant seeds of commitment in soil that's been a butt rocky in the past. Mortar and pestle to turn them rocks into sand. So my hourglass, I'll keep flipping over and over and over until enough time is spent. Life is kind of costly, but for you, these scents of my vessel are worth centuries. A few months made millions of memories. I can see the collages and every look you give me. PowerPoint presentations of, why does this boy look at me like this? And I feel seen, but I kind of like it. And I think I found a sanctuary. I'm going to remain here, baby. Please stay a while. I think he promises safe here. My rule of thumbs always make this point. I love you. I pray you see the signs before I even speak the words. Even my language ain't sufficient for the description. So I hope these acts curb and satisfy this hunger we all got because you a whole meal and nourishing always been the point of my plot. And we're following away from fairy tales i'm just trying to copy your stocks you being magical my favorite miracle casually putting the work although seeing you casual is my plan cooking your favorite upon command or building upon a promised land breaking grants so i can see you sitting pretty near beach sands where teeth where deep tans leave you caramelized sweet soft and a bit blacker god manufactured ergonomic you got a curve by design you're a comfort to me in every factor so my bad if i'm scared to move a little faster i don't do this too often only quality catches my eye and helps the stiff heart to soften my siphon see summer from you it's been cold out, finally getting the feelings in my fingertips, but I promise to apply double back. I'm talking sun surface warmth in my dialect. So when our hands clasp, my vena amores only pumps promises kept on respect. And I've never been afraid to be specific. Date until Mr. and Mrs. is the honorifics and last in this earth space. I'm a man who wants to be kept, so be yourself. So brought me here in the first place. But I guess that wasn't our fate. I tried to love you with intention, but we broke up before I could even finish writing this poem. So all the above was estimated guessing. It's all good though. By the just for a season, but the love was never so so. Maybe one day I could meet you in infinity. Fingers crossed, like Gojo. Thank you. All right, now. <laughs> yes, that was fire. So, before we let you go, yes, sir. I guess I will get into my last, you know, to my same energy track real quick for y'all. I think you should. Yeah. Let's do this. He said, like, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, smile. You know, like you just inspired me. Let's let let me finish that shit. Kill me on my network. Girl, I'm throwing the beat. This nigga never sucked. What you are, I'm putting out is what I'm giving back now. What you are, I'm putting out is what I'm giving back now. The fact that I keep on reaching out to you, no response, starting to annoy me. Teach me a lesson. I'm not like you. you. Me. I'm a boss, a boss, so it's one I'm gonna keep my enemies close Hope for the ones who keep it real with me Hey, act like you don't have time That's fine with me Save it for someone who cares No heart to us, I'm still smiling We'll keep it moving Don't say for a second I will allow you to drive me crazy Put me in a frenzy Not I, the black man Same energy, same energy, same energy Same motherfucking energy, energy. 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 Very, very quick, quick lift up the game, game on you Show you why they call me the boss, boss, boss. Make your dad money go, they ain't got time for food. You be proud? You got a man of red hair, but they ain't got time for food. That's what I'm going to help you piss off. Let's play chat. Your move, my move, not our way. Take the time to get to know me. Actually, daddy, daddy, you're tired of the Keep that same energy, same energy. Same play of a freaking energy. You heard what I said. I'm trying to break bread with the ones who brought it upon me. I'd rather be alone. I'm too wrong for the drama. Save that shit for your mama. Either with me or you against me. 
building, in the 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 don't beg me for anything when you don't even respect me. Expect to be put in your place when shit hits the fan. That's yeah, right. I'm the boss of my bro with me. Sometimes I'm big deal. Already made what my mother made you. Already look. That's right. I'm an boss boss boss. Give me back the same energy. Same motherfucking energy. Alright, y'all. Hey, 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 well, share your um, social media platform and where we can find you. Most definitely, if you want to follow me on Facebook, it's my name, Aaron St. Louis, A A R O N S T E L O U I S. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's A J O S A I N T. Thank you all for having me. Yes, thank you for coming on the show. Most definitely. So, I look forward to more events from you. You are definitely a fire ass poet. Um, you definitely have my respect. Um, Don't you got a friend coming up? I do. Is it it October? What day was that? It's August 27th. August 27th. Yes, and I better see you here too. Oh, yeah, you did. You told me. (laughs) (laughs) Well, what's actually happening at that? Go ahead, plug yourself. So, you know, again, it's not. Okay, anyway. (laughs) (laughs) So. It is my album release. Uh, I did a spoken word, um, as you heard, with the same energy, but it's word. different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, watch out. Yeah. Be crowned. So as you um, just heard with the same energy, that will be on the album as well. I decided to do my poetry to music, where it gives it a different feel, um, different emotions. Um, yeah. And then I have my book release the same night. So it's an album release slash book release at Smokey Joe's, August 27th. Tickets, well, I'm not really doing tickets anymore. I'm doing what's called a guest list. So you pre pay for your guest list. Yes. So once you pay that advanced ticket uh, price, you'll be added to the guest list. Yeah, now that homie's done, let me plug myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, July, look out for the um, the work, the writing workshop. Uh, nice. Dates are tentative, but it will be a Saturday. Um, besides that, I also do commissions. Mm-hmm. I write um, poems for people. Some people ask me, hey, can you write poems for my life or things like, mm-hmm. like that? Um, it's not cheap. A <laughs> uh, hundred dollars per minute of audio, um, but it's good. It's snug fit for whatever you need, as well as I do um, features as well. Whether you want poetry and interludes or rap verses, let me know. I'm here to work. Um, the pen is sharp. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go take these pictures and yeah, chit chat some more. Sounds good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Ralph, I'm going to appreciate y'all. Thanks for having me. Let's see what y'all think about this spoken word. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the Pharaoh spoken word. And <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a little perverted. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's session, tonight's session, you receive your blessing, your blessing, you won't learn.
Girl, you got it like this Keto ain't no cop, girl But you gon' get this nice stick I know you been working hard Sweating on your night shift Know you had an next man But he was not there like this Baby, call me on the late man. Clean your head and break man. She just, she just touched down. Hope you had a great fight. Swimming in your ocean, girl. Daddy needs a great fight. Let me get that out the door. Show me what it tastes like.